Hello YouTube, it's Minecrafter. I'm new to making uh, Minecraft videos and I thought I'd introduce myself. I've been playing Minecraft for about three months now and I enjoy doing redstone things so I'm just going to share this tutorial with you. This is, as it, as it says here, this is a 3-bit deanery to binary decoder. These are the inputs, 1 through 7, and these are the outputs from binary. 1, 2 and 4. Just going to show that a few of them work. They all work, it's just to save time. This is the basic layout and I'll explain what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Okay then, so basically you want to make, like to start off you want that area where the buttons and the redstone torches are so you've got the inputs and outputs together but if you don't want it like that I'll explain what you can do later on in the video but just to make things simple put um, nine blocks this way three four five six seven eight nine then come across five sorry if I keep changing my render distance it's because I lag while I'm recording capturing my screen all right, about halfway. You want to pop some of there. That's if you want to like outline where the in I put output and input up there. So you just want to make sure three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you've got enough there. And you want to pop a redstone, redstone, and redstone there. Sorry about this, right. I won't do these because it will waste time. I might do them later. But just imagine it's one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Okay, so. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you want to make sure you've got seven because obviously that's the amount of inputs. Okay, so now these are going to be inverters. So you pop redstone torches on these sides because you want the signal coming in from over here to be inverted into an on, on, like redstone to be on. And then, I'm going to get some more wool in a second. Oopsie daisy, alright, I'll just pop that down. Then I'll get some more wool. Okay, so, you want it to be, so you want to go wool. Then come up have one, two, three, four, five on the top, then come back down and make sure there's redstone there. And bring it down as a line. You want it to come about just past the last torch. By the way, I am using flow mod, it just helps me do things quicker. So no one hate about that. I also have like time mod, but that's just to keep it daytime. So you pop redstone over the top, like that, and you've got to do this for all seven. So the quick the way I do it is I do this, then I'd pop that down and just do it quick. Aim for the redstone on the floor and the block will get placed above it. It's just it's to save time. Alright, now you've done all this, you want to quickly just pop your redstone down all over the top. You're going to need that. Take the buttons away. 
Tak si dáme vás. This is a simple decoder obviously because it's only three bits and it's not complex. It's like a simple design. Right now you've done it all. You've got to imagine that this would be this the button for seven. You could literally put a button right there for each of the blocks. Have your inputs over here, click the button remove this wall and then just run it like fly or do something to get over here and look at your in outputs but being me I just like my inputs next to my outputs to make it easier to um, to make it easier and you don't have to travel so I'm just checking to see how far the redstone will go alright just pop them down there. So we know the redstone can go that far. And now you wanna out um invert into the wall just so the torches go off. This lag is annoying. Okay, so I should be uh, that's done. Alright. So that's all sorted out. Okay. So as I was saying, this is input seven. If you don't understand binary, I suggest you go and have a little look up on it because you won't understand what I'm saying now. But uh, this is input seven. So you gotta imagine this is one, this wire is one, this wire is two, and this wire is four. Because if you follow it four two and one so seven you put a torch next to the one next to the line that will be represented as a one when you convert it or decode it so a seven decoded would be three ones so you put a redstone next to each of them a six would be a four and a two a five would be a four and a one a four we would just be out of four on its own a three will be a two and a one. A f two will be a two and a one will be a one. So that's the decoder done. All you need to do now is link up the buttons to um to the inverters. So for the first one, you pop down a repeater or a diode. For the second one, so I'm just going to activate super pick. For the second one, you dig down. You want to dig down and then dig down two more after that, like this, so you can pop that down and then pop that. So just so like the inputs ex the same as what the button would be representing. Okay. Now. Down, two down. Okay. You wanna make it go up here. Just so like if you go up anywhere else it'll just make it all tangle like I'll explain in a second. Like if I was um going up here look it would tangle there. So just make sure you don't go up you make you make sure you go up in line with it by one step there. Alright. When it comes to five, six and seven, I'm not sure if five happens to five, but six and seven the wire's too long so you need to put a repeater somewhere down the wire just so it gets to the thing.
hi nearly done okay it's done just to check six seven five five works it's six and seven so you just want to pop a repeater down roughly in the same spot just so you know they'll work six works seven works okay now that's all done now so this is one this is two this is three this is four this is five six seven so if you understand this you can make it a bit more complex by putting more like by putting another wire here popping that down making this one making this two making this four making this eight so it's like a four bit decoder and the only thing you'd have to do as well as that is put because obviously when it gets to um when it gets to uh when you have eight added on it can go up to 15 because obviously it's seven plus eight so there could be 15 possibilities so you'd need 15 buttons if you're doing it as just a normal decoder with buttons so that's the only bad thing so you'll have like 15 of these wires so basically double of from here to here doubled so it'd be about here and they'd have a lot more of these so like the more complex the bigger it is so if you like this tutorial please subscribe comment thumbs add to favorites you know all the stuff um, I'm going to be adding more tutorials on um, on redstone stuff. I'm going to be adding a tutorial on how to do what I've just explained, like a 4 bit decoder, which I'm going to do. Also, if I can find it, it's the exact same what I've just shown you. I was recording before and it, and it messed up. Alright, this is some dirty ass redstone setup. It's the first time I tried to do um, a digital clock but it was like it's so messy it's loads of all gates going into one another that's how messy it is but then I came across like I've started using my a different method so I using a decoder for it so it's a lot cleaner and they all came on they all come on at the same speed no matter what number you click it's always the same speed so I'll, I'll make a tutorial on how to do that as well and I'll also make a tutorial added on to this on how to make it automatically count so instead of buttons it'll go 0, 1, 2 all the way up to 9 and then reset so okay so thanks for watching please subscribe and I'll bring up more videos